The Bank of Romney has been serving Hampshire County and the surrounding area since 1888. Come visit your community bank at any of our six locations. At the Bank of Romney, you are someone special. I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com. The Warm the Children program is now in its sixth year. The charity, managed by Eastern Community Action Incorporated, provides needy children with clothing of all types, from coats, shirts, pants, and socks to blankets and quilts. Last Wednesday, I visited with a volunteer group that makes quilts here in Romney known as the Community Quilters. They meet at Our Lady of Grace Catholic Church where they take the pieces of material that they have and turn them into beautiful quilts. Each of the handmade quilts are carefully stitched by several ladies that make up the community quilters. The group makes the quilts for many different causes and charities, including the Warm the Children program. Warm the Children is active year-round and donations can be made at the Bank of Romney or at the First National Bank. I spoke with Pam Brady from the Community Quilters to find out more about the group. Pam, how long have you been doing this? A little over a year. And how often do you meet? Once a week, every Wednesday from 10 o'clock in the morning until 3 or 4 in the afternoon. And I'm told that you like being the spokesman for the uh, group? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you being a sport today. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you're making quilts for these days? Our project this year was um, Warm the Children, and what we're doing is making quilts to hand out to some of the smaller children, um, along with their coats and hats and gloves that they give out every year for the Warm the Children campaign. Um, we're also making some teddy bears, and some of the girls are making clothes for the little teddy bears to go out to the smaller children. And understand, too, that you've had some cancer patients uh, that you've been helping out, have been helping you, helping you as well. Yes. Um, Right now we have a lady that donated some squares that she made who has cancer and we're putting this quilt together to donate to a little girl who is, lives in Cape and Bridge that has cancer also and the quilt is going to be donated and auctioned off on October 18th at the Cape and Bridge Festival and the money is going to go towards her medical bills. How long does it take to uh, produce one of these quilts? Usually it takes uh, about two weeks. And uh, how many are in the group? We have uh, several here today. There's close to 12. Uh, some days there's more, some days there's less. It uh -huh. just depends. Everybody comes and goes as they please. So. Is there any particular uh, sewing machine? I see you've got an antique one back there which we showed you earlier in the video. Uh, how long have you had that? Oh my, I've had it probably 30 years and it was my great aunt's and she had it I have no idea how long. It's a, long a singer. Yes, it's a very old one. And are you happy with the stitches and the work that it does? Oh, absolutely. I love it. Uh, they made them great back then. Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, thank you so much for your uh, time today, and we appreciate uh, all you're doing for the community. Thank you very much.